I generally start with the horizon color first and I set the value slowly. I work in layers and it's very thin paint. I don't, there's not a lot of brush strokes, not a lot of texture when I first start out because I know I'm going to be doing subsequent layers. And I usually work with local color. I just start laying in values and brush it on. I know some of the red oxide will be showing through. It'll be semi-transparent. You can still see the lines of the drawing underneath. Mountain range in the background. Scumbling some of the details over top. So I'm going to mix a green, a uh, sap green. I'll desaturate it with some purple. I'll lighten it. Um, and I add a little orange to warm it up because it's going to be in the sun. At this point I'm going to start painting uh, some of the mid-ground elements. Uh, this would be a little mountain range with some green trees on it and I'm painting in the shapes. Uh, the color I'm using is a sap green and I desaturate it to darken it with some diox purple. When you're painting sometimes, you just use a reference, but something something will happen where it'll just show up as a little an accident, but you like it. So what I'm, what I'm doing here is a, accentuating a couple of tree shapes that were back there in a, just a darker uh, value of that mountain range so that they're just there in the mist. So I'm painting in those shapes uh, and just accentuating what already happened as an accident. And I'm just adding other little details. paint a small section that's way off in the distance and I know this and my reference to the time of the year is late spring and the mountain in the background has got a lot of green trees in it but it's way off in the distance so I'm mixing a cobalt blue and a little bit of uh, diox purple and I'm going to desaturate it by adding a little sap green I'm going to get just the right value to lay in all the the deeper shadows in this little mountain range. A few things happen sometimes on the canvas. Every artist likes little surprises that happen. So before I seal that, I want to put down a few more colors. These are like little mental color notes. I'll just uh, add them in. Okay, after the painting layer is satisfying to me, I'll dry it, seal it in binder. Um, I'm always use a soft brush with the binder. Very, it's a my I use a uh, it's a soft filbert there. It's a Russian uh, red sable. Dry that with a hair dryer. I'll come over with the matte medium and do the same thing. Lightly brush it on after the binder varnish is dry. I brush on the matte medium and I dry that with a hair dryer and it only takes a few minutes 